What is going on YouTube? This is your boy Pan. Today's video, I'm gonna be taking you through SCM Rush Competitive Analysis Toolkit and how you can use it as a local business owner or if you run your own website, right? It's very important to stay up to date with your competitors regarding your marketing and SEO techniques. So very important to stay up to date. And I'm gonna be taking you through four main tabs on the SEM Rush Competitive Analysis Toolkit. It's gonna to include the Organic Research tab, the Keyword Gap Analysis tool, the Backlink Analysis tool, and, and last but not least, the Topic Research tool. So make sure you watch to the end of this video because the last technique is very important if you wanna make sure you're succeeding in your content marketing strategies, right? Without further ado, let's get right into it. So first of all, what you want to do here is you want to go over uh, to this drop down box right and you have several options and by the way in this video i'm just going to c cover the competitive research toolkit simply because it's very important for local business owners and i feel like it is the probably the top priority whenever you're doing you know seo research marketing research so if you do go ahead and click on competitive research toolkit and you're gonna see a page like this, right? And then what we first wanna look at is, um, you know, the organic research tab. So if you go to organic research tab, what we can do here is let's go ahead and enter our domain. So I'll be using one of my client's domains. Let's go ahead and type that in. And then we're gonna get a whole bunch of different options, right? You're gonna be able to see your top organic keywords here, uh, your organic keyword trends over time, right? But let's go to competitors right so if we go to competitors you can see quickly here it gives you this nice graph of your competitors you can see how many keywords and traffic are they getting right compared to yourself and then if we scroll down it's going to give you a nice list of organic competitors right now some of these might not be direct competitors uh, as you can see some of these like house pinterest yep these are just online competitors right they're not actually in our area but if i scroll down here i can kind of see some of our actual competitors um, that are in the dallas area right i can see a few here and then you want to pay attention to the keywords the traffic uh the cost right this is kind of an estimated cost uh from the traffic that they're getting right and then paid keywords right so if they're paying for advertising you know that they're really putting a great focus on their keyword research right so what you can do is let's say uh, you find one of your competitors right so we can find lawns of dallas and we can see that they have 30 paid keywords that sc and rush is picking up right so if we click on these uh, first it's going to give us this paid search trends graph right um, and then you can kind of get an estimate of how much they're spending the traffic they're getting from ads and again how many keywords you know they're using in their advertising efforts and then if we scroll down, you can also see the exact keywords that they're spending money on, right? Now, if a company is spending money on ads, they're not just guessing what keywords to bid on, right? You wanna make sure that you're taking notes of these keywords, and then if they apply to yourself and your services, you can create pages, create content around these pages, right? because you know that people are bidding on them, they're spending money, so they must be bringing in results, right? So very important tip, guys, uh, when you're doing your initial you know, competitive analysis using the organic research tab, right? So moving on, the next thing we wanna pay attention to is the keyword gap tab. So let's go ahead and pick keyword gap. And here, let's go ahead and change our root domain. Let's go ahead and put us. And then here, what you can do is you can select competitors, right? Now, let me go ahead and pull some competitors that I want to make sure are in here uh, because it doesn't always give you, you know, the most, uh, the closest competitors, right? So we do wanna make sure uh, we're putting in some direct competitors to us so we can get a good idea of, you know, any keywords that we might be missing. So let's go ahead and just pick uh, five of these and let's just throw them in here and then press compare. And once you press compare, you're gonna get some nice data. You're gonna get top opportunities for, these are keywords that we're missing, right? So right away we can see keywords that we're not targeting yet. So we can see what other pages we need to create content around or 
you know, what keywords we can take from this list and plug them into our website, right? And then here you can kind of see uh, the keyword overlap, the similar keywords that you're targeting, right? But if we scroll down, this is where we want to pay attention to. Make sure it's on all keywords. And here you can see what keywords your competitors are targeting and ranking for, right? So if we scroll down here, you know, we see all these different uh, keywords, right? Affordable landscaping, Dallas gutter cleaning, a residential lawn mowing service near me, right? And you can see these are keywords that we are not targeting, we are not ranking for, and the competitors are, right? Um, so you can kind of take a look at these, kind of see which ones apply to you, and you can create content around them, right? Another thing, you do want to make sure you're paying attention to the volume of that keyword, right? How many estimated monthly searchers um, are looking for that particular keyword uh, or search query, right? And then you also want to pay attention to the KD, right? Estimated keyword difficulty um, on a scale from 0 to 100 on how difficult it would be to target this keyword, right? So that's pretty much what you want to do when you're doing a keyword gap analysis, right? See which keywords you're not targeting that your competitors are, right? You want to make sure that we can steal their traffic, steal their visitors. Uh, very important when you're looking at your competitor keywords. Um, and you can even go to this top opportunities tab and click view details. And it's going to go ahead and choose, you know, the top uh, seven keywords that we're missing, right? So right away, you can see that he's kind of the top seven uh, that we should be also targeting, right? Um, so this could be a great starting point, you know, whenever you're going back your keyword research again, um, and just, you know, get some more content on your website around these keywords, right? Very important and a very useful tool. Next thing we want to take a look at is the backlink gap uh, analysis tool, right? Very similar to what we just did. So let me go ahead and take some of our competitors again. And the reason you want to do a backlink gap analysis is because when you're building links, as you may know, which is off page SEO, you want to make sure you start by getting all of your competitors backlinks, right? Because you know that they're already working, right? You already know that that website is giving links to, you know, related websites in your niche, in your industry. So you can take a look at these websites and kind of reach out to them, right? You can kind of see uh, what type of backlink uh, they got, right? Is it a guest post? Is it a sponsored post? Is it a, a citation, right? You want to make sure you can kind of analyze what type of backlink it is, right? One that caught my attention was let's see this one so these guys have 121 backlinks from weebly and if you don't know what weebly is it is a two point uh pretty much a web 2.0 right you create uh your own weebly and then you let it age and over time you add content to it and you link back to your own website right and that's pretty much what we're seeing here right so we can see that they created a weebly with their exact uh domain in here so if we open it up we can see that this is indeed a web 2.0 of you know their brand right so if we scroll down you can see that they are uh, linking back from their own web 2.0 back to their website right this is a very common strategy when building links um not the best way to do it right but people still do it um so this gives us a good idea of how our competitors are building, you know, some of their links. Pretty much they're just building them out themselves, right? From their own web 2.0s. Uh, so you can kind of go through this uh, same strategy. Just, you know, click on websites that stand out to you that your competitors have backlinks on. Uh, see what type of link it is, whether it's a guest post, a citation, or a sponsored post and see if you can also acquire a backlink from that same website. And then the last thing we want to take a look at is the topic research tab. So if you go down here and you go under content and PR, just click on topic research. And this is very important guys, when you don't know how to write content or you don't know where to start, maybe you don't have any ideas on what to write about. Maybe you think you have a boring niche, boring industry, just go ahead and write in a topic. So I already had one down here that I put landscaping. So if I click on this, I like to look at the overview tab and here it's going to give us top 10 headlines by backlinks and also 
10 interesting questions. I always like to look at the top 10 interesting questions, right? Right away, if you don't know what to talk about, look at these questions that people are searching for, right? You can see landscaping, what's the coolest fire pit? Uh, what are some ideas for a landscaping company, right? These are all ideas, okay? And then I also like to look at the mind map. The mind map gives you related you know, search queries related to the topic that you search for, right? And then to get even more ideas of popular questions, if you go down here to the right-hand corner, you can see questions right here, then you have all, you can press what, these are just what type questions, and then you have how type questions and is, right? So this right here is already giving you a bunch of ideas that you can write blogs around, right? And you know that people are searching for them. So it's a very great way of getting quick ideas on how to write content, right? So that's pretty much it guys. These are the top competitor analysis tools that SEM Rush offers. It gives you a very good clue of what your competitors are doing regarding their keywords, their backlinks, and their content marketing, right? All right guys, so those are my top competitor analysis tools regarding SEM Rush, right? Now, if you wanna see more tutorials like this, there's a lot more features that SEM Rush has to offer. So if you do wanna see more in the future, leave me a comment below. And also, if you want to see some great hacks regarding Ahrefs, um, also leave me a comment below. I also love using Ahrefs and SEMrush. Um, I always use them together, right? So if you do want to see some cool tricks, leave me a comment below saying that you'll like to see that. So that's the end of this video, guys. If you liked it, leave me a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.